This video shows how to consist two locomotives using a Digitrax DT402 throttle and DCS100 command station. We have our two locomotives on the track, on the same track, and we're going to be consisting with the DT402 throttle. There are basically three types of consists that can be done with DCC. The basic consist that simply gives both locomotives the same address, such as 03, 4123, or 506, something of that nature. But all of the locomotives have the same number, the same address. Digitrax has also something called universal consisting, with the consisting actually being done in the Digitrax command station. And then there is a type of consisting called advanced consisting, where the consisting is actually done in the decoder of the locomotive. Today we're going to be dealing with universal consisting in the Digitrax command station. For reference, if using the Super Empire Builder Extra Set, you would go to section 14 of that manual under Advanced Operations Capabilities multi, Multiple Unit Operations in section 14.1. In section 14, you will find instructions on how to set up your consist, how to run the consist, and how to take the locomotives out of that consist. For consisting using the DCS 100 or DCS 200 command stations, you can uh, find written instructions in the Super Chief Extra Manual in section 15. Section 15 will tell you exactly how to set up your consist with the locomotives, how to run that consist, and how to take the locomotives out of consist. Universal consisting allows us to consist, or MU, multiple unit, two or more locomotives. Therefore, you can consist two locomotives as we're going to do today, or you can consist as many as eight or ten locomotives if you wish. The first step in consisting, of course, is going to get your locomotives on the two throttles. The first locomotive, or the most important locomotive, which is what we're going to call the top locomotive, or, and our controlling locomotive will go on the right-hand throttle. In this case, it's going to be Conrail 4123. And we can see that locomotive moving. Then we add the locomotive to the left throttle that we want to MU or consist with our top locomotive. We put it on the left throttle, and in this case, that's number 506. Now, the most important thing now is to make sure both locomotives are going the same physical direction on the track. For instance, our top locomotive is 4123 it's going to your left. We then check number 506 and we see that it is physically going the same direction to the left on the track. With our locomotives going the same physical direction on the track, our top locomotive on the right, the locomotive to be added to the consist on the left, we press the MU key and you will see that it's, it shows in the display add or remove MU. 
We then press the plus key. The MU is now complete and you will see on the left hand side of your display a small c in. That means that the locomotive on the left, number 506, has been consisted to the locomotive on the right. You can see that the controlling locomotive on the right, 4123, is now controlling both locomotives. You can add more locomotives to this consist by making sure that those locomotives that you want to add are again running the same physical direction on the track, in this case to your left or to your right, and then selecting the locomotive to be added to the consist on the left hand throttle. Once you get it there, you press the MU key and the plus key. It's as simple as that. After running your consist, should you wish to remove any or all of the locomotives from the consist, you simply put the locomotive or locomotives that you want to remove from the consist on the left hand throttle. You press the MU key and you press the minus key. Once you press the minus key, that particular locomotive is removed from the consist and can no longer be controlled by the top locomotive on the right hand throttle. This concludes the video on consisting using the DCS-100, DCS-200, and DB-150 command stations.